everybody, this is Daryl at Indigro, and with me today is Jeffrey. He's our senior electrical engineer in charge of product development. What we're going to show to you today is what makes electroless induction lighting so unique, unlike any other type of lamp technology on the market today. What we're going to show you is our 400 series grow light, and the way these operate, they have these coils, and the coils act as magnets, and the magnets excite the lamp and the gas inside, thereby creating luminescence. What Jeffrey's going to explain to you briefly is how these couplings actually work. Jeff? This is basically an electromagnet with a toroidal ferrite. You see there's about 12 coils here and this is actually done with a single piece of wire from end to end and including all the coils. No breaks in this wire at all. The only exposed electrical conductor is at the very end of the wire. The wire itself is Teflon insulated, which is one of the finest wire insulations available in the market. And they're very safe because without a screw-in socket or the pins that most fluorescents have, these are places where the gas will um, leak out and it also creates an area where you can get shocked by the energy being transmitted on those. With a magnet, you don't have that. So, similar to Nikola Tesla and his experiments, we're about to try something that I would not recommend you try. It will void your warranty and you may not live to talk about it. So we've got an aquarium full of water here and we've got one of our smaller circular lamps. And with this lamp you will see a narrower coil but a coil nonetheless. In the background is the driver. Now these drivers are, ball are not really ballast. We call them ballast but what are they really Jeff? They're, it's an electronic driver you know basically similar to what you hear as electronic ballast is essentially the same things. These output 120 volts AC at 240 kilohertz. But under, I said still 120 volts AC, so this is still high voltage. And I can guarantee you this is the not to do part of our warranty. Just don't do this. So what we're going to do right now is show you that one of these lamps, they're light enough to float. We're going to go ahead and turn it on. And the electromagnetic energy is luminescing the phosphors inside the lamp. We're going to put a little weight on it so that it will sink. But we weren't happy with it just floating. So here we go. Keep my uh, electrodes out, please. Thank you. And as we drop this into the water, we haven't had to call the fire department. No EMTs. My hand is completely submerged in the water, as is the lamp. As you can see, the light coming off of that is a direct result of the electromagnetic couplings. It's pretty cool. So if we can answer any questions, please visit our website first. After that, give us a call if you need anything else answered. This is Daryl and Jeff at Indigro. Thanks for joining us.